Hi, grade 8. It's me, your teacher. So today we're going to be discussing the discovery and mining of deep level gold on the Witwatersrand. Strand. The discovery of gold. So in 1886, gold was found in the Witwatersrand, Strand, the ridge of white waters. Today, the Witwatersrand Strand is in Gauteng. Now, if you are familiar with Gauteng, you will know that it is one of the biggest in terms of um, population wise uh, among cities in South Africa and the reason for that is essentially because of the discovery of gold so everybody moved there and tried to kind of get lucky you know hoping to find gold at that time South Africa was not one country yet it was divided into four states ruled by white people the Transvaal and the Orange Free State were Boer or Afrikaner republics, and the Cape Colony and Natal were ruled by the British. Most African kingdoms had been defeated by this time, but some still had control over small amounts of land. So, for example, King Mashweshwe of the Sutu managed to maintain his little area there that we today know as Lesotho. Um, the gold law was passed in the Transvaal and this basically said that only white people were allowed to claim land and black people were only allowed to be employees of whites. So that means that when people started to stake their claim for gold, not everyone was allowed to stake their claim and say, I'm going to mine here and I'm going to get my gold and I'm going to become rich. You could only do that if you were white. If you were black, you were understood to be a worker or an employee. So over here is an image of South Africa in 1886, and you can have a look where gold and diamond would be found. So gold was found in the Boer Republic of the Transvaal, while the diamonds were discovered in Kimberley. So here you go. You can see this is where Johannesburg, and you'll remember at the beginning of the unit I said Johannesburg, also known as Igoli, the city of gold. And there's Kimberley over here. So the first gold was found very close to the surface. Um, with help from prospectors, black laborers would dig up the ground in order to reach the ore that contained the gold. Soon they had to dig deeper to reach the gold, and this was called deep level mining. They needed expensive machines to dig the gold. Thousands of people moved to the Witwatersrand in hopes of making money. This led to South Africa's Industrial Revolution. Transport changed as people and goods needed to get in and out of Joburg. Railway lines were built to link the gold mines with the harbours of Durban, PE and Cape Town. So this is just to explain the difference between a gold ore and a gold bar. If you play Minecraft, you'll know. Um, basically, gold ore is rock that has gold in it. So in order to get to the gold, you need to break the rock without damaging the gold. And in order to do this, you actually need very expensive machinery. They used to use pickaxes. But nowadays, they use these massive machines, and back then, they also kind of move towards the machines. Once you've destroyed the rock and you separate the rock from the gold, you can then put the gold in uh, a little mold and create a gold bar, as you can see over here. The gold bar is very, very valuable because it is 100% pure gold, no rocks mixed in. <laughs> So what was needed to mine gold at a profit? Investors had to uh, bring money from other countries to start a mine. So not anybody could start a mine. The first people that discovered the gold in the surface at the top, yes, they became very rich very quickly. But when they started having to dig deeper, you needed money because now you needed to dig out a shaft now you needed to get those machines down there now you needed to employ people to mine the gold so we needed people from other countries to bring in the money so that we could build these gold mines diamond mine owners because remember uh, diamonds were discovered before gold was discovered started investing in the gold mines as well so 
there was very expensive equipment needed to run the mine. They needed machines to sink shafts into the depths of the earth. They needed ventilation or air equipment. They needed special pumps to pump out the water. They needed skilled workers to run the machines. The gold standard meant that the price of gold was fixed and an increase in cost meant that they could lose money as the price of gold would not change. They had to get cheap, unskilled labor in order to make a profit. So activity six is going to be analyzing a cartoon that is on the D6. You can have a look at the cartoon and then answer the questions. And the next time I see you, we'll have a look at the answers and then we will move on to the next unit which is conditions underground all right thank you very much and goodbye